These are some of the men and women deployed right now. In June, they had a training to prepare for their missions, and in October, there was a deployment ceremony. They are currently operating in Kuwait, Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and Jordan. Lieutenant Colonel Greg Hileshorn says there are two Army units in the Middle East. One is a medevac unit, so its job is going to be to rescue uh, injured uh, U.S. personnel and allied personnel off the battlefield. The other is a smaller unit in charge of surveillance and intelligence. Anytime you have an event like this, uh, it's a reminder to all of us, especially to our public, uh, that their National Guard is engaged not just at not just here at home but overseas as well. We've gotten kind of the, the, the all okay from them and we'll kind of maintain constant communication with them uh, as well as their families here to make sure that everyone understands the, that, uh, that they're safe, uh, they're doing well and, and we'll keep an eye on kind of the general escalation or de-escalation of relationships or escalation of, of potential incidents as they as we move forward, especially in the uh, in the short term. Last night, the Guard posted an update to social media and immediately notes were sent back. That support means a lot uh, to the men and women overseas and to their families. To know that the public and our communities have our back uh, means everything. Yeah, it certainly does. Right now, there are no other deployments scheduled. Live in the newsroom, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.